Uh. Okay, mic should be on. Everything appears to be fine and dandy. Let's get rid of the usual text, which is this and that and this one. Just still doing it manually. And say hello. Hello. Hello all. Right, uh, we're back for the uh, second half of the SpongeBob Employee of the Month game. So this, yeah. should go, this should go up by pretty quickly. Like, the game is not long, but if I did it in one session, it'd be too long for one, one go. So <laughs> 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 got to compromise somewhere. Right, let me just uh, make sure that's on the priority click. Do that first. I can't use the stream deck because I fear the game will not like it. There we go. Here we are. Right, so we're still trying to get to Neptune's Paradise, and the bus is out of the question. Like, yeah, after our shenanigans from before, it's not happening. Yeah, but I have a really uh, important question. Like, he took us all the way back to Bikini Bottom, didn't he? Yeah. Wouldn't it have been shorter to just go to the Neptune's Paradise, because that was li literally next to Rock Bottom? He's right. <laughs> He's fucking right. <laughs> Uh, maybe you just need, well, maybe you just need the excuse of pick up for gas, even though he's full. <laughs> Let's see. This is the same diner from when SpongeBob lost his identity, I think. Well, Patrick, looks like we're just not meant to get to Neptune. It's a very flat, like, sandwich. <laughs> what? Or is that just a cry? It's like, is that a model what of a cry patty with squashed and stretched? I think it is. I think it is, yeah. What are you talking about, Patrick? SpongeBob, I know, is defiant in the face of insurmountable odds. He's what? In the face of what? I don't know. The point is, you shouldn't give up so easy. We're a team and we won't quit. Never! You're right, Patrick. Why should this I is still before the movie, so I kind of get in those vibes right about now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly! They're not and quite men yet, they're getting so the energy of it, though. <laughs> oh, hey! That reminds me. I saw Sandy working on a rocket last week. Maybe we could use it to get to Neptune's paradise. Uh, yeah, the rocket. Cause yeah, that's the that. never backfire. <laughs> so how did Patrick idea. pay for that? I don't know. I'm going to ask him that if I can. I'll tell you what. Also, how did he order it with nobody being around? You. Uh, you know, you order at the table. Partners. But there the is nobody in the at the counter. It's in the, it's in the kitchen, I bet you. Okay, well, I'll just meet up with you later then. Uh huh? Oh, oh yeah, anything you say, SpongeBob. Ah, there you go. Oh no. Working in the kitchen. Okay. Hmm, I wonder whose meal that is. It must be Sandy's, I guess. <laughs> uh, Hello let me just again, quickly Patrick. see you. Hey, you SpongeBob! Oh, oh. oh here we go. Patrick, how's that How'd you pay for it? I, love you. I guess that's a good thing. You could say that again. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> He's not answering. I'll meet you at Sandy's when it finished here. Shouldn't take too long, be like five minutes. Hi, nice place you got here. Yep, I've been here coming up on 25 years. That's Best pretty good. Grilled cheese in town. That does you not like look like old. a grilled cheese <laughs> if that's what Patrick's <laughs> eating. What's that greenery? Is that tomato in there? Ugh, that's, that's wrong. Say, do you happen to know a land squirrel named Sandy? Noah? I just got off the phone with her. She ordered her usual. Really? Well, I have to talk I to guess her. It's you want me to nuts. deliver it for you? Ah, that's now, so you gotta remember sweet. she's texting first. Thank you, fella. Uh, oh, yeah. She's at Jellyfish Beach. <laughs> she says she needed a recharge and a slab of baby back ribs would do the trick. Ugh, heck How did you food. get this stuff well, down here? The order. You be sure to get it to her right quick. I Red don't butts. want any <laughs> You might have a future here. Thank you, ma'am. You don't have anything to worry about. SpongeBob is on the case. Don't forget to pick up the bag. <laughs> uh, whilst we're here. Yeah. I remember this jukebox. It was in that Mermaid Man episode. You just change the music if you want to. A few variants, but that's about it. There's a dartboard, though. This is not a correct shaped dartboard. They do not look like this. <laughs> I can guarantee they you. They look this, like this on the water. The, the numbers are all completely wrong. Well, I guess the best part is. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. There's no uh, like. Is it literally just randomly. Yeah. Where you click? In the trajectory. Yep. 
<laughs> if I... Yeah, it's completely random. <laughs> oh, fuck this shit, then. <laughs> no skill behind that whatsoever. I actually programmed on this better. <laughs> <laughs> School on the most fun, like I actually did one where it like went, it indicated how much it would vary, so there was some, some skill behind it. But yeah, having some visual aid wouldn't hurt. Yeah, but it was really like once you figured out how much the wind translates to how far away you could hit the bullseye every time. Well, the goal is. At least it was skill based. <laughs> but yeah, it's skill based, but the goal isn't for the bullseye though, you want the triple 20s. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Sandy. It's unusual it for Sandy to jellyfishing, isn't it? it out from jellyfish. I wonder where my baby back ribs are. Hmm, that's a good thing I have it. Um, hang I on. Gotta go, Sandy. Give I'll it to her first. No problem, Save so time. I'll see you on the flip side. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> when does Sandy do jellyfish? She never has. <laughs> yeah, it's like. I missed that episode because she was in the net person, it's just Pets Week and Spongebob thing. Uh, like, this is like early Spongebob, like seasons 1 to 3 Spongebob, so I don't even know where she does this. Uh, okay. Ah, it didn't hurt this time. Hmm. Because she was still walking, I imagine. Right, so we need to get home and pick up the our, our um, bull head thing that Spongebob uses. Oh yeah. So, there's a snake in there! Was a, I guess that's a sea eel, I guess? Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, God. Stop! There's a sea snake in my water helmet! I better find some way to charm him out of there! Mm. Where's Gary? That'll be the answer at all. Let me give you movies here. Through a pointless button. Yeah. That's an easy one. It looks like some sort of videotape. It's just in the closet. Okay. Look at that later. Okay. And well, if only we knew somebody that played an instrument. I'm pretty sure it's not the clarinet, but I'm sure it's just the same thing. Let's just go past your Squidward. Oh, who's that on the TV? Well, let's go find out. Come on down to Sardine Sundries. This week we got a whole bunch of specials that will blow your mind, man. That's oh, right, groovy, stuff. dude. I'm serious. <laughs> Sniff this. We just got these babies in this week. Dream glasses. All you need to do is be near a buddy of yours who's sleeping, put on these glasses, and you'll it's actually like totally psychedelic, man. Dream. You could really freak him or her out. I mean, like, whoa. And this week only, dream glasses are free. You heard it right. I'm nuts. Skiddly bop. Look at these. Skiddly bop. Skull candles. <laughs> they're just like a regular candle, except they're shaped like a skull. Wowzers. So come on down to Sardine Sundries, 174 Barnacle Yeah, it's Road. easy to read if it's not flashing. Because time <laughs> is an illusion. Dig it. Well, that seems cool. Okay. Let's go there first. Ooh, he wasn't kidding about the whole sardines thing. Yeah, I can smell those cans from here. Ugh. All right, well, let's uh, check it out. Ooh. A lot of hippie knickknacks, I can see. <laughs> Hi. So, it's what is in weird. the free range? Oh, there, life traveler. Thank God it's How free. You don't have money. Been? Okay, I guess. I almost tripped on a rock outside. You should really start asking. Okay. No, no. I mean your journey through life. It's the crabs for a uh, race, or at least money for working. Because, well, you we, know, we should just laws about that. That's the thing. Last time we did ask for a raise and we didn't get it. Implying that I just think that the race would indicate us getting money in the first place, right? Might go in mm. circles, but your mind soars with the eagles. Wow, you have a really intense aura. It's yellow. Want me to read the bumps on your head? No, not really. But those so aren't bumps. Kind of the, 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 the enhanced her. life. We give your brain a car in which it can speed through the highways of the universe music. Sounds dangerous. So Don't what stuff do you think he's on? <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Maybe you can help me. I have a friend who's sleeping like a rock. He won't get up and I need to borrow his clarinet. Got anything that'll do the trick? Sure, man, sure. What you need are dream glasses. 
green glasses. Yeah, I don't see Come how they can wake him up. Someone who's sleepy, and hmm. you can see into it their dreams. Because follow him asleep. But what's even weirder I mean, is that's that they before. can see that you. Was an episode. I yeah. don't quite know how they work, actually. I was gonna say, how does these so things specify who you're, you know, dreaming entering into? What if it's two people sleeping, <laughs> like, nearby? Man, whatever the curse is fun, obviously. I mean, I asked for the fuck. But I don't have any money. Money? You insult me. We don't even accept money. What? We are here to serve all on the road of life in their quest but for happiness. Hey, hey, anyway, you said you price. don't accept money. Hmm. Then earlier well, on in your commercial, you clearly Just, sell uh, these candles that cost two dollars. So some dream glasses? What's that about? Go ahead and grab them. I think there's only one pair left. Oh, no, you're onto him. <laughs> the store. Thanks. The far out. Radical. Well, I'm gonna go. <gasps> nice talking to you. Anytime, man. I like you. You may be square, but you're no square, dig? Yeah, last I checked, it was hip to be square, so... <laughs> hey, it's this guy again. Hey, now I know I've seen you before. Oh, hello, stranger. Nice to meet you. Uh-huh. Why are you pretending to have never met me? I just saw you at the bus stop in Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom? No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've never even been to Rock Bottom. Have you at least been at the Krusty Krab? I'm pretty sure yeah. it was you. You even sound the same. People say I resemble a famous movie star. Perhaps that is what's confusing you. No, I don't think so. Well, I'm sorry, stranger. I just can't help you. Hmm. Alright, well, well, I have to go. Bye. Bye. Okay, I want to know no, what the deal is with this guy. He's cool in the film's paradise. Hmm. I bet you will meet him again in the next chapter as well. Whoa. Yoink. Alright, we got the glasses. Let's go meet Squidward again. This is annoying. On the mini map, they show Patrick's house. You can't get there. No. Yeah, it's a scam. Alright, up we go. There he is. We hmm. could have stayed the cabinet from him. He's sleeping like a log. There's no way I'm gonna be able to wake him up. Ah, I think that's why we can't just take it. Mm. Alright, well, let's uh, try Whoa. these glasses on. Gotta remember though, his hands are suckers, so they've probably got a really strong grip. <laughs> that's true. God, is this what oh, dreams about? God, this is more of a nightmare. I look like Squidward, but not completely. Yeah. This is weird. This is really weird. This is. Why would he dream of this? Maybe it's about to burn this all down. It's some sort Maybe. of a pyramid. What's going on? What's this guy do about Squidward? It's more of a SpongeBob dream than anything, really. Honestly, wow. SpongeBob Squidward might haunt me forever. Hmm. Okay, this is getting closer to what school would be like. Ah, yes. This is looking very familiar now. Hey, Squidward. Even in his dream, he still plays bad. Yeah. You look kind of like SpongeBob. I got here just in time. There's been a mix up in our dream. Yeah, well, I'm listening. This is the dance recital. Dancing is clearly a left brain activity. The clarinet <laughs> recital is over at the right brain. Oh, well, I'll just get on over there. So, so. <laughs> this is yeah, quite clever. Never dance before. Yes, yes, of course I will dance. I will dance like the wind. Good. Knock him dead. If I could just have that clarinet now. Yeah, sure. Here it is. Remember to clean the reed. Oh, I don't mean just that. Right. You're me. Okay. Well, do. <laughs> Later, Squidward. Bye, Squidward. I mean, I guess he would accept this. Clearly, what we've seen in this dream world is that there's a lot of SpongeBob elements in here, so. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, now how do we get out of here? No, oh, just like that. Wow, I'm glad I'm back to being me. Being Squidward is hard work. Was it? I, th I think you were just putting the effort for the voice, mate. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the house. Which is over here. Hey. Honestly, the running speed feels more like a walking speed. <laughs> it's not <laughs> fast enough. Oh, wait. I need to go to the pet one time somehow. 
Mm. Yeah, I bet you there isn't a speedrun record of this game yet. I might be the first if I ever try it. <laughs> Basically, everyone is a speedrun then. <laughs> there we go. Now we got the fish bowl. Helmet, okay, whatever. Believe what you want to believe. You can clearly tell this is still like early season Spongebob, they're still referring to the rocket, which only appeared in that one episode. I don't think it ever appeared again. Wow, uh, look at that. Did either, yeah. But it's like, it was so iconic, it's like, we gotta use it in all the other media besides I the show. Yeah, but this, you can get inside. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> you see, there is this in-between pocket, you know, it's supposed to drain out the water, you know, you, you get in there, then put on the helmet. Just saying. That's the logical thing to do. I love visiting Sandy in her tree dome. Yeah, you know, besides the air and all that. Hi there, Sandy. How's it going? Oh, hey there, little square dude. It's going pretty good, except I can't find my oxygen tank. Why do you need oxygen tanks? Because that's what my rocket runs on, silly. I switched over to not... oxygen fuel a few weeks ago. Okay, I was going to say, it's like, is it not powered I by hydrogen? Find those tanks. <laughs> That'd be great. I've been looking all day. Darn is it the full place a pop explosion because then you lose both? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, you can't make an oxygen purely powered Don't rocket. It doesn't work like that if you're planning for space travel. Hey, yeah, but maybe it works in the water. Who am I to judge? Mm, yeah, I mean, she's Can you build a tree dome under the ocean? Okay, I can see how a tree dome can be constructed, but uh, the rocket thing, I don't know. Oh god. That's not wormy, is it? Uh, let's try down here. Oh, what happened here? Wow, Sandy must have had a good reason for flipping over that picnic table. It's been a pretty bad day. <laughs> Let's find out why. <laughs> Maybe she was practicing karate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was easy. Don't know how Sandy couldn't find this. I guess she was so angry at the table she wouldn't dare look at yeah. it. I gotta walk all the way back. Anyone home? Yeah. Right, here's your oxygen tanks. Sandy, I found the oxygen tanks. Woo-wee! I knew you could do it by a little wrangler. Now let's get our rears in gear and hop along to Neptune's paradise. Wait, we only got two tickets, though. I guess she, she's paying herself there. <laughs> yeah, because everybody else has money. Oh, yeah. Actually, how does uh, Sandy own money? Like, maybe if she sells the inventions? Because she also doesn't have a job. I think she is paid. Like, if my theory is correct, she is down here for research purposes. Like, she is inherently oh. a scientist, so... The later Spongebob series, fair. like, yeah. emphasize this way too much. As, as she's the only smart person here. But she is. <laughs> yeah, but it's like... Maybe Plankton. Like, yeah. Plankton is smart but not wise. Yeah. But it's like the early seasons of Sandy, they, you know, it was pretty toned down, so, you know, sensible. <laughs> Nowadays, it's nothing but science. Okay. What happened to the Texan stuff? <laughs> she was so far, she's so long gone from Texas, it started fading away. Ah, damn it. There he goes. Oh, here we go. The funny thing is, I think this is the only time Sandy's actually piloting the rocket here. <laughs> Considering yeah. the episode it, it premiered on, she didn't even fly it. Kids on holiday in the nutshell. Uh, I don't know, I gave you the oxygen tank. You didn't say anything about refueling it. Sake. Well, this thing ain't flying again. Oh, I don't feel too good. I told you not to eat all that junk food earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was gonna starve. <laughs> go it's when you eat this chocolate uh, bar. Oh, how convenient. There's a cell phone. 
Yeah, a payphone all the way out here. Too bad I don't have a quarter for it. Wait, didn't you spend a quarter sometime? Nah, I spent it on the vending machine. Oh, yeah. Still check it out, though. Oh, wait. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Damn it. Uh, maybe if we... Nah, no good. I need a quarter somewhere. Sandy, is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. Go get this oxygen tank filled with oxygen springs. It's just up the road. Oh, that's convenient. Oh. I can't hit through this thing. Awesome. Uh, let's just ask some further questions. Is the rocket broken? Well, it's damaged, but it don't look like nothing I can't handle. I'm pretty sure. How I are you gonna get it back upright? Hmm. Oh, Sandy's pretty strong. Oh yeah, she is. I forgot about that. <laughs> See you around, partners. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she could just you know, bench press this thing. <laughs> oh, uh, that's... Yeah. Shane, that's broken. Let me just fix that with my force powers. There we go. Sublime Seafoods, five 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 four 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 four. Well, that seems easy enough to remember. What about the regional number? Nah, it doesn't matter. What about the free at the end? Hmm. Yeah, t reference probably didn't get because I did it poorly and I actually can't remember the whole number. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Oxygen Space. Oh, it's another, <laughs> uh, another program of voice actor here. Air rejuvenate and revitalize. How may I help you? Uh, Hi, I just wanted to use your oxygen thingies for a minute. Why, you would be more than welcome to. Unfortunately, you don't seem to meet our dress code. We require jackets, you see. He's wearing a tie, is that enough? Jackets? <laughs> Isn't everybody in there wearing swimsuits? Well, yes, they are, but before they're allowed to change into swimsuits, they must be wearing jackets. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. Just don't think about it too much. And please come back once you've fulfilled our simple dress requirements. Oh, tartar tot. Mm. But I really need some oxygen. It's really important. I see. What I don't see is a jacket. That's because I don't have I just pass you one of you I'm guys the auction point. tanks. You fill it up for me. You know, easy enough. So, uh, uh, can I come in? I'm not sure what part of jacket required you don't understand. Hmm. The required part. Okay, well, that means you need to be wearing a jacket to come inside. What is this well, jacket you talk of? interpretation, don't you think? Look, buddy, I may be just a camera, but I wasn't born yesterday. Wait, is the camera sentient? <laughs> no, Certainly. come on, camera. It's me, your old pal, SpongeBob. Did that name mean something to me? Because it doesn't. Please come back when you get a jacket. Thank you. Oh, tartar tot. I guess I better Persuasion be level one. Let's try one more time. Nah, uh, it, it won't work. Another free. <laughs> I swear I'll get, I'll get a 20 after this one. <laughs> Meanwhile, what is this? Someone My golden feels coconut. very angry. Get Sartre along, Bleu, why can't we all just get along? Apparently not. Right, well, we can't get the oxygen tank, so Sandy must have an alternate. Hi, Sandy. I'm back. Howdy, SpongeBob. Let's see. Uh, nope. Nope. Ah, here we go. Sandy, they won't let me into Oxygen Springs. They said I don't meet the dress code. But you're wearing a tie. They That's said what I, I need said. A jacket. <laughs> hmm. My old friend Cowfish Craig might have one you can borrow. He lives in Waverly Hills. Sorry, Try checking Cowfish okay. Craig. Bye, Sandy. Is that a thing? A cowfish? Apparently. All right, let's go check him out. Let me guess. This place also needs a dress code. <sighs> Well, it's fenced off, so I Sandy should be concerned. Sandy knows some good people. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm heavy enough to activate this gate. Wait, you have to be heavy enough to activate this thing? I, I guess they expect you to come in here with a limousine. What's this over here? Well, that did something. Uh, let's go back to the fountain. I didn't see it on earlier. Ah, there we go. Well, might as well admire it whilst we're here. Duck, duck, duck! Get it off! Oh boy, I feel <laughs> bloated. All that water may be extra heavy. Well, he is a sponge. Alright, I should trick it. Uh, One day we'll understand the difference between water and 
the other vaults. <laughs> it's dense water. It's, it's, it's thicker. Like they cost a lot of money. Oh yeah, what have we got here? We got a, a treasure trunk, castle, a literal gold house, gold and, a, and a regular ass house. Honestly, and a dollar sign, something frog. Yeah, this guy's the most rich, obviously. Honestly, the castle is a bit disappointing in comparison to contrast. It's like, yeah, yeah. You, got, you got one tower. It's not even a castle. Meanwhile, you got just a shack. Oof. You must pay good money. For... The yeah, you must pay good money for that land. Let's see this guy first. Carlton Ritz. Hi, how are you doing on this fine day? Not good. I'm angry. Why are you angry? The sun is shining. Your house is made of gold. Yeah, gold. I bet you can't even look at this house in any here? time of the day. You being so reflective. Whoa, whoa, I don't want it. Yeah. Why are you so upset? But that's the point I'm of it. So the peasants the can't look at this. It's just a ah. no good neighbor of mine, Cowfish Craig. Not only does he make the whole neighborhood look bad by living in a tool shed, but he took one of my golden coconuts. Do you have any idea how long it takes to grow a golden coconut? Longer I bet than you a he just plum? paints Not it. Funny. Anyway, now I have to stay out here and guard my own property. Sheesh. Maybe I can help you to get your golden coconut back. You would do that? I'll tell you what. You get my coconut back and I'll give you a king's ransom. A wow, ransom, that's huh? a lot of money. Good I mean, to hope me. it is. Okay, it's I'll probably bus it tokens. <laughs> I swear the cries of his bus tokens. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, I, I gotta think that's go. all the information Please we need. Please keep off the path. It'll tarnish. Wait, off the path? Okay, <laughs> it's one of the rare times uh. you don't want to be on it. <laughs> because of the gold, you know, you don't want to ruin that perfectly shaped gold. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I need to quickly get something. I think I missed it. Let's see. Back here. Ah, yes. There we go. I need one of these. Okay. You'll see why later. Okay. Monkey. Monkey. Right, now we can go ahead and check out this uh, shack that's standing up. I'm assuming he's getting good money on that oil. That's probably the only reason he has this piece of land. That shack looks a little out of place here. Yeah, but it pays good. Let's just barge on in. Excuse me, good sir. Nice place you got here. Much obliged, partner. My name's SpongeBob SquarePants. What's your name? Folks Very uh, here text call me here, isn't it? Craig. Not that I give two hoots what folks around here do. Aha! Uh -huh. You're the one Sandy sent me to find. I should have known. You know May I call you Cowfish? That's a good question. Maybe he grew up there? I don't know. Texas has water. Not his title. And urchin by any other yeah. name would still sting like crazy if you sat on it. Ouch. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I guess the first I one. I'm curious, Mr. Cowfish. Why don't you live in a big old mansion like all these other people? You think a man's house says something about him? I'll let you in on a little secret. A humble man is a happy man. Don't let yourself get Guess caught up in all fair, this but, you know, have hoopla. some quality. Before you know it, yeah. all your luxuries have turned into necessities. What about a heated pool? That'd be nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, it would. Actually, a heated pool would rock. <laughs> he, he, he can't deny that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I Ask about the coconut. Neighbor. He says you took one of his golden coconuts. Well, that figures. I didn't take nothing. He's got that darn palm tree hanging over my fence, dropping those silly shiny coconuts. I wonder how many have actually yard. dropped in total. I just picked one up to prove a point is all. He's always getting his shorts in a bunch about something. Well, um, do you still have it? He'd really like it back. I ain't giving it back. Besides, I'm putting it to really good use. What that are must you be using pretty it good for? Then. A paperweight? Oh, of it's course. <laughs> what if I find you a new paperweight? Ah, horse feathers. All right, fine. If you can find something you can replace it with, be my guest. It's just down the hall. Thank you, Mr. Cowfish. Ah. I'm surprised he's well, asking us just go. like pay Talk for you it. You know, we're Get clearly going, yeah. showing interest for it. But he doesn't need money. Yeah, true. Wait, yes he does. It's, it's a bill. <laughs> oh, Christ. 
Miami. I think this is still stuff in it. Is it the uh, Nana? Oh, it's in the Nana Chunk reference. Yeah, yeah it's Nana. always. I there did not do this really carefully. Ah, we didn't have the budget for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now just to somehow get across. Just like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, job done, bye. Uh, there's a giant hole in the floor. <laughs> we won't tell him what we replaced it with. <laughs> you might think it's worse. You didn't ask him about the check yet, how could you? <laughs> like, this is the whole point to go to him. Unless you know something that I don't know. Golden coconut, my, precious my precious golden my precious coconut. Thank you so much, strange square thing. Let me give you your reward. The king's Here ransom. Oh, wow. A king's a ransom. Boy. Well, I don't carry much cash on me. Sorry. Ah, damn modern day technology. It's all in bank accounts. Sheesh. I'm getting out of here then. You're gonna be so rude. Jeez. Well, There's not much I can use a quarter for except the pay phone, so I guess I have to use that. I mean, what else am I gonna use it for? Let's see what we put in the thing. Go. So who are you going to call? Oh, the dentist suitcase. Eh. 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 There we go. Super easy. Hello? Hello, this is the blind thief fool. How may I help you? I need directions. Where are you guys? We are located. Should really put that on the sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from the Cap Forest. The view is breathtaking, I assure you, madame. I'm not a madam. Oh, <laughs> I apologize, mademoiselle. That's How worse. Silly of me. Mm -hmm. Try again. Oh, my goodness. A thousand apologies, sir. You Bingo. You got it. Well, sir, we are very easy. That alone will be enough to we make a Twitter war. Just south of <laughs> Great. Thanks. Yeah, we're not talking about Twitter. <laughs> nope. Moving on. That should be our next location, and our last one. This place is pretty small, to be honest. It's not that long either. Excuse me, I'm just passing through. That's what you think. Nobody gets up these stairs without an invitation. Oh, for invitation? God's sake! To what? Sublime Seafoods is having a party this evening to celebrate the unveiling of their new slogan. Sorry. Oh, what the new slogan is? Only. Oh, really? What's the new slogan? I don't know. Something real catchy. I you work here. You should know this. <laughs> catchy. Seafood. Get it? Oh, there's something wrong here. I just realized this place is, is offering Look, seafood. I really you know, need to get oh, fish no. food. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you can't. Now, shove off. Don't make me come out there. They don't call me the bouncer for nothing. Oh, God. Please, please, Mr. Bouncer. I'll be your best friend. Okay. That does it. I'm coming out. Oh, God. Get ready to say hello to my little friend. Uh, oh. He's packing heat. Oh, God. Uh, oh. Now, oh. why are you making I such see. a commotion? <laughs> You're the bouncer. I thought we had established that already. Are you sure there's not a couple more of you in there? <laughs> what is this twaddle? <laughs> the bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance. Simple. Oh, all right. Now get moving. Fine. <laughs> Later. The mezzanine. Where was Fine this? shops and restaurants. Great. <laughs> hmm. What do we got here? Golden hmm. money, gold, bags of jewels, stuff. Yeah, what if he uh, stole all of that. Yeah, but he stole it. Rich guy. How surprised is there any golden what? coconuts? Not much business today, huh? Nah, but it should pick up later. Sublime Seafoods is having a party tonight, and they gave me an invitation to give out to one lucky winner. Oh, oh they can don't I have normally it? do well, that I casually, would they? To you. I was instructed to hold a little trivia contest and give the invitation to the winner. Ah, he's like a he's an influencer, isn't he? That's exactly <laughs> what's going on here, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, a contest? That sounds like fun. What do I have to do? You have to tell me what Sublime Seafood's new slogan is. By the way, I like your shoes. Oh, finally, oh, Solomon acknowledges he wears slogan. shoes. <laughs> well, that's for you to figure out. All right, well, uh, well bye. I gotta go. The bathroom's that away. 
That's my little joke. What, is this what in the tent? a cute little tent! I didn't know people could camp around here. Uh, should we tell him more? That's the kelp forest. <laughs> I can barely see a restaurant in the distance. Uh, we got a thing here. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, that no. kelp forest looks like it would be really easy to get lost in. Oh, what's this way? Oh, <laughs> leads back out here. Never mind. Let's see. Uh, I'm missing a piece of information. <laughs> Need to figure out where the slogan is. Maybe we can ask where to look. Hi again. The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance. Simple. Now get moving. Well, I've got to go. Oh, rude. Okay, let's pester this guy for information then. I'm back. Oh, I can see that, silly goose. Uh, Where exactly is the blind seafoods anyway? It's in a sunken ship, rising out of the kelp forest right behind us. Oh wow! It's quite breathtaking. <laughs> you can see it from those binoculars that look out point. Uh, yeah, you uh, had to uh, hit it line to use the binoculars. Fancy. Yeah, oh, needed that piece of information is. apparently. <sighs> Frank, this is like good game design, people. <laughs> Click games. They're amazing when you actually know what you're supposed to be doing. Yep, I gotta go. The bathroom. That's the part of funny <laughs> kick games, anyways, because normally you'll be like, oh, binoculars, you can look for clues, and then maybe later on you find out, you know, it's where more you annoying. Need it I it's more annoying you know the here. solution, but you don't know how to get to that solution. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Sublime already found it. Seafood tastes like chicken. Nice slogan. It's a terrible slogan, but all right. <laughs> a slogan's a slogan. I suppose they didn't have it on the main billboard advertisements. Hey, what is it? The blind seafood tastes like chicken. You win. Here is your invitation. I can see that you slogan see working stronger in KFC. Great, thanks. Yeah. KFC, <laughs> it tastes like chicken because it is. Okay, here's our uh, invitation. Where's that on the back? I'm assuming that's like a drawing of the ship. I guess. I, I can't. I can't manually rotate this thing. As soon as I pick it up, it. Yeah. Oh, here's your thing. Good evening, my dear sir. Here's my invitation for the night's festivities. Excellent! This is all in order. Enjoy yourself. Really good. There we go. Alright, let's uh, head on up, I guess. Somehow he reminds me of the shop owner in Dust. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I was expecting this ship to look a bit more impressive. This is kind of bog standard. Yeah, but like the view actually is nice. They didn't lie about this one. Yeah, I was expecting it to be similar to that, um, similar to that part in, uh, no, uh, the ship in the ball restaurant thing, if you remember that. Oh, yeah, Hi, yeah. this sure is a pretty restaurant. Uh, yes, it is. It is a high-class establishment. And at the risk of sounding rude, you look a little out of your element. I wonder if this is the same shrimp from that gag. That one use gag of so long, shrimp! Well, I'm really only here to ask if I can borrow a jacket. Hey, you most certainly cannot. Our suits are reserved for patrons who, for some reason or another, have forgotten to bring their own jackets. It's, it's we literally cannot lost and found, go isn't it? <laughs> willy nilly giving out jackets to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who comes in here. You can't say that here. At least use Richard, for God's sake. It most yeah. certainly is. I'm sorry, uh, SpongeBob, but I cannot help you. Alright, well, I'll have a Fun table. Bob then. SquarePants, table for one, please. I have an invitation. Uh, Mr. SquarePants. Oh god, they really I are. I just looked at the menu. <laughs> oh god, please, they are selling fish. From Lisa, our cold check girl. Got crayfish, uh, dolphin. Okay. Oh god. I gotta go. Catch oh, you later. No. This is. Oh god. Well, uh, let's get our coat. Hi. I'm supposed to get a jacket from you. Okay, here you go. Please don't forget to That's return the same girl it when you are that done was eating. Eyeing the jewelry, gotcha. isn't it? Thanks. I think they're using voice wow. actors. Wow, nice the Same models as well. This is a decent outfit, I guess. Not sure about the. He's not wearing. Yeah, he's not wearing full out trousers. He's still wearing the shorts that he has. That's weird. If you wish to be seated, you must speak with me first. Oops, 
sorry. Damn fancy places. Yeah. Okay. The closest I've ever been to like a fancy restaurant, weirdly enough, is is a Pizza Hut because it's like wow, they actually treat it like a proper restaurant. It's so weird. Really? Yeah, it's so odd. I thought it'd be like oh, it's just you know a copy of Domino's. It'd be exactly the same. No, they treat it a lot more respectfully. <laughs> Oh god, they're serving jellyfish. Oh my uh, god, this is like the look you can even look at it. This is horrifying. Ugh. Good up ah, you're totally not Larry, now. I swear. Welcome <laughs> to the blind. Would you like to hear this petiers? Or are you ready to order? Let's see, what, what are you offering that is horrifying? Why of course we have a kelp salad. With basil vinaigrette dressing, the kelp is grown in our very own simulated organic forest. And the As in, they just got it from outside. <laughs> They're right next to the damn forest. Barrels from the Titanic. Ooh, it is what's the Titanic? Oh, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> How would they even know what that is? Delicious. Uh, what, what else do you have? Special? We also have the sand cake tartar. Uh, the sand uh, cake tartar firmly backed cake. by Finn <laughs> and our 100% shell free. That comes with a delicate sea grape leaf tea, which is sound very um, sharp. vegetarian. This, uh, this menu order really doesn't it? <laughs> Order. What can I get you? I'll have a Krabby Patty. What? No. <laughs> Krabby Patty? Well, I never. He didn't really get offer him a out. menu, did he? You must yeah. be from Bikini Bottom or some equally despicable. Damn place. bottom feeders. Get out of this restaurant immediately. In fact, I shall remove you myself. Uh oh, now I've done it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. poor SpongeBob! In deep water, he highly deep. offended him. Clearly, he forgot to remove yeah. his jacket. Maybe some good will come of this after all. Oh, uh, think of the positives, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Neat. Right. Well, we have our jacket, so let's uh, show off our jacket. More Hello, of a suit than a jacket, but whatever. Ah, yes, I see. And you have a jacket as well. Excellent. Please proceed inside and have a relaxing oxygen bath. Great, thanks. So jacuzzi. Probably. Patrick, so, we are not a member. <laughs> how did Patrick get in here? He doesn't even have a jacket. What's this? Patrick, oh, he did have a shirt on, so I guess that counts. Here? I'm relaxing. Oxygen bath is sweet. Just. How? But how did you get in here? He's been getting been through a lot of places somehow. Find a jacket just so they let me in. Where's your jacket? Jacket? Nobody said anything to me about a jacket. But oh, he just sauntered in, didn't he? At the gate. Didn't it say anything to you about a dress code? Well, I didn't come through a gate. I just climbed over some coral. Oh, I really didn't so. use the bathroom. There is a hole right there, and he probably went through that. Well, <laughs> hurry up and get out. I gotta get oxygen from the security geyser. floor, goddammit. get out. I'm not wearing any pants. Well, how'd you get in here then? I don't remember. <laughs> well, where are your pants? They're in the bathroom, I think. Can you get them for me? All right, fine. I gotta go, Patrick. Okay, bye, SpongeBob. Oh, this shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, they are pretty iconic. I'll get to give them that. Should be in here somewhere. Yeah. Let's see. It's this guy again. Really hey, familiar. It's you. Uh, hello, sir. May I get you a towel? No, but you can tell me what you're doing here. Are you sure you do not need a towel? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, yes. I. I do not I'm need a sure towel. Patrick needs I one. beg you to reconsider. <laughs> Everyone should have a towel. I'm a sponge. Towels are soft. I practically am a towel. <laughs> hey, it's your life. I'm just trying to help us all. Look, the jig is up. I've been seeing you everywhere. Now, what's the story, Buster? Me? You've been seeing me everywhere? Like where? Well, where first haven't I saw you, you been, at mate? The crab. You made me fix you a Krabby Patty. Then I saw you at the bus stop. You were kicking a can in the air. Then I stole that I can. I saw you at sardines. What do you think about that? I think you've gone quite mad. Uh, I, uh, huh? Uh. What? 
Bye, Leonard. Bye, Petro. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Petro. I did. Hey. Wait huh? a second. Who was that? That was my twin brother, Petro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bye, Leonard. Bye. Ryan. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Ryan. Hey. Oh. And oh. That, that explains a lot. <laughs> Ryan. How many twin brothers do you yeah. have? Including Petro and Ryan? Yes. Four thousand one hundred. Oh sweet, must for Christ. More or less. Well, that explains it. Explains what? Never mind. This whole you guys are just background filler characters. But how did the one guy know our name? No, that's true. All the other ones don't know us. <laughs> you like they wanted to the best of new our name. Some sort of videotape. I guess because he's been at the Krusty Krab before, that's his excuse. All the other ones haven't been there, so. But he yeah. claimed that he didn't know us. Mm. I'm onto them. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. By the way, that tape is a very uh, easy miss it. And you won't. You won't get it. Type thing. Because uh, <laughs> after this, uh, that's it. I gotta get yeah. Patrick this first. Okay, Patrick. Here are your pants. Whoa, whoopee! Hey, SpongeBob! Uh, could you turn around for a moment? I don't want you to see me naked. Okay, here I go. That includes you, audience. There we go. Okay, hey, thanks, where did the shirt came from? You didn't peek, did Who's you? on the side? Yeah. He's been wearing a shirt the whole way. No, uh. I just gotta fill these oxygen tanks and we can get Including going. the hat. Whoopee! Just gonna turn this back on. Ah, Hi, Edwin. Like the smell oh, of hey. in the and guess what? We we're almost at the end of the game. <laughs> oh, right. It's literally so just like a few minutes left, so <laughs> better late than never. Without trees? Shit, I've got nothing, man. <laughs> That's a very specific one. Uh, right, no, then. no. I can't say Dragon Ball, that doesn't count either. Build. Yeah, this whole game is a point-and-click adventure game. There's quite a few of them, actually. Like, this isn't the last one. I've got a few others as well. Excellent. Alright, we finally get to Neptune's Paradise. The goddamn time. Was it just like a joke question? Was it like legitimately, I have something against these? Or it just feels like a joke? I think it's both, because it's like, it's both joke, but in serious, it's like, you actually have to think about it, it's like, he's there? Yeah. We finally made it to Neptune's paradise! Yeah, I can hardly wait! We're gonna be the first in line! We're the hmm. only one Doesn't here. Seem like it's very crowded. Sorry, guys. Oh, God. Park's closed. Another developer voice what? actor. Uh. special tickets to get into the park, see? Yeah, see? Those tickets are for damn. next week. See? Oh, oh. damn it. <laughs> they have that standing on them. <laughs> Probably why Cra Mr. Krabs gave them away. They're never valid. That's why they were free. We went all this damn trouble. Party for somebody named... Let's see here. Spring Boob Squire Pen. Damn it. That Spring Boob Squire Pen strikes again. Oh, I need SpongeBob SquarePants. That's me! Ugh. Surprise! Wait. Hi there, SpongeBob. How are half of you guys even here? Congratulations, SpongeBob. How are those guys back when we only just met? I don't know. What's going on? I have on? so many questions about this game. Same. At least we're here finally. <laughs> It's amazing! I mean, that does look like a good roller coaster. <laughs> Except for that part. Oh, hey, look, it's all his cousins. Or whatever. I'd say Patrick. He's gonna break it. He's already broken that one. Off he goes. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, you got over in that position. <laughs> uh, ah, the old bumper cars. I don't think we really saw Spudra much in all that. 
It was mostly about Patrick, really. <laughs> and that's it. We got to the theme park, end of the game. <laughs> Yay, we achieved the goal of getting to some other place. Yep. Really... The hard way. That's, that's SpongeBob for you, I guess. Yeah, it's just like, it's a really basic story concept. It's a children's point-click adventure game. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I gotta give props to the fact they actually got everyone to reprise their roles, like, including Clancy Brown, which is an oddity in, in any yeah. other game media. They can't get him for some reason. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason after this. <laughs> it's like, ah, I'm not going to do this again. When, like, the, um, it was a bit of a game. <laughs> like, game like the animation. Well, it, yeah, it's a bit budget, but yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> clearly a budget game, but Young Me, like, adored these games a lot. <laughs> I got, like, three other SpongeBob based ones. They're, they're all made by the same people as well, like, I have pretty much these developers' entire library of games that's so small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> and then after these... We do have entertainment value, but yeah. <laughs> that's why I enjoy them. And then you just boot it back to the start of the game, that's it. <laughs> but thankfully, progress is kept, so we can have a look at the other tapes whilst we're here. We have the time. Too much time, I have to say. <laughs> Let's see what this one has. It bears the exact same style of behind the scenes content, but it is insightful. We saw early on the previous stream about uh, one of Marlin's like room, whatever. The sketch concept was completely different to the final thing. Wait, he still <laughs> he still had an unfinished thing on his head. Yeah. I don't think okay, that's the storyboard. Okay, I can't imagine that changing too much. Yeah. <laughs> That storyboard looked like a filtered screenshot. Swag. We were barely here. Why is this one warranted? I still wonder, like, these background environments, were they actually drawn, like, by the official SpongeBob production artists? Because, you know, the art style is pretty much exactly the same. I don't know, maybe? Well, they definitely did their research, whoever developed this. They're, they're yeah. not a thing I anymore, so... I feel like this is harder to, uh, easier to get than, like, voice actors, because, you know, it's just, like, they're drawing things. And it's just hidden to far a bit more. Literally think this this style is just you know pre-rendered background stuff. This is how Risen Evil does it back then. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. I kind of wish this is a thing that is used nowadays. Really, for I'm sure like this like some indie game that has done this. It's a lost art, I have to say. Yeah. And that was a puzzle game as uh, I think it was it like uh, hint from background, which actually looked really nice. That one changed completely differently. I wonder what these, like, CG models were programmed on. Because, considering, like, I'm assuming what those were were, like, animation rigs, I'm guessing, that they just customized for them. It must be a template that they used for the system. Yeah. And, uh, that's it, really. I mean, I guess I could show you the TV intro, I suppose, and see how wrong the <laughs> dubbed it is. I think it could show within this hour. We filled an hour, that's a minimum quota, I have to say, right there. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we need to talk about 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds, yeah. Hang on, not. hang on. Okay. I'm oh, yeah, 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 to do this next game. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta announce the next game, since we're done already. So, yeah, that's the game. So, our next game is, if I click on this one, Papers, Please. I won't. I want to do a nice, simple one. We'll be doing a wonder stream with this one, so see how far we go with it. It's like... It's privileged equivalent of, well, you know, your, your, what was it, a Borders, uh... It, 
It is. It's, it's really good. There's like a lot, a lot of crap documentation to sort and order through. But we'll just see how far we go. I might not be able to do a whole run, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, you know, how far we can tolerate until I die eventually. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Van, Van OS Del 2. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Twitch names, they're weird. Right, we, uh, we buffered enough to get a follow, so we must have done something right. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's tomorrow's uh, stream. So yeah, check out for that later, I guess. All right, so that will do for a stream. Short stream. Apologize, but we didn't. Well, I didn't know exactly how long this game was, but I think it spaced out correctly. Because if I did, if I did keep going uh, yesterday, it probably would have been a three-hour stream, and we don't do that here. Yeah, it was like two thirty around this, so it was the right decision. Yeah, because. Plymere is in a different time region, so I gotta count for that. <laughs> yeah, and I usually go up, have to get up at five for work, so yeah, I mean, which I don't know because of vacation, but still. <laughs> the mindset is still there. I can't leave. Yeah. Right, I'll do. I guess. So yeah, check out tomorrow for papers, please. So till then, bye all. Bye.